Hey, what's up guys? Derek from the Baseball Channel coming at you again with yet another review. And today it's actually going to be a comparison between a Rawlings Heart of the Hyde and a Wilson A2000. So um, this is just a stock Heart of the Hyde, whereas this is a custom. So it's not quite the same, but still definitely going to do the trick. So without further ado, let's hop into it. So both of these gloves are on my channel, so I'm not going to go over what they look like. However, one thing to point out before we get completely started is that the A2000 does have super skin on the finger backs and the thumb whereas the Rollins is just your traditional leather all across. Now as far as weight goes obviously I got to hand it to A2000 but I think that's mainly because of the super skin whereas the Rollins is all leather but that's not a big deal but this is lighter just keep that in mind at least with the super skin. Now let's hop into lace so with lace, I definitely have to hand it to Rawlings. Uh, Wilson lace is stiff. This one's actually not as bad. I've been working with the lace. But when you first get it, Wilson lace was super stiff. Whereas Rawlings is nice and soft. Plus the Rawlings lace is a lot thicker. So I definitely do recommend that. I, it definitely does win in the lace department. Now, our next category is going to be form. So you have... On the Wilson, you do have dual welting, which helps for curled fingers. And guys, as far as form goes, I gotta hand it to Wilson just because of that dual welting. It helps keep the fingers rolled and shaped much better, whereas Rollins just has a single welting and the fingers stand very, very straight, which makes for a bigger glove. And personally, I prefer the curled fingers. Now, as far as holding a flare or a curl, whatever you wanna do, it's kind of 50-50. Both of these gloves can hold it fine, so there's no real winner in that department, but I definitely prefer the curled fingers, so that one has got to go to Wilson. Now, let's hop into the wool versus Wilson's Drylex. So the wool, let's put it this way. The wool, when you first get it, when it's fresh out of the box, fresh from the store, the wool is very soft, very plush, and I definitely recommend it. However, the Drylex is perfectly comfortable and it wicks away moisture from the day you get it to the day you get rid of it. Whereas the wool, it kind of clumps together, it stinks, and so for that, I got, I'm going to have to give it to Wilson just because the, it's more durable as far as the wrist goes for that. Alright, so now we're going to hop into the liner of the two gloves. So where your hand rests on it. Um, so Rawlings just has a uh, deer tan cowhide. And A2000 I think is just the same leather they put on the whole glove. Now the, these both kind of form to your hand moderately, not a ton. And uh, with this one, guys, I got to give it a tie. Both of these are very comfortable. Both are durable. I think really it's just straight even no advantage to either one which is good because they're both great all right so now the next category we're going to do is color options when you customize so obviously this rollings is not customized and this is but it's still something to consider in this comparison so wilson is very good for color options and different colors available so is rollings but on wilson you can only combine a certain number of colors at a time rollings you i think you have much more person personalization options as far as different colors together go however on that same note Wilson you can have different parts of the glove be different colored lace however when it comes to lace I think the same color throughout the glove is generally a good thing so it's 50 50 but I think I have to give personal customization to Rawlings just because you can have everything a different color whereas Wilson say five things will have to be within two different colors which isn't a big deal, but I definitely prefer the Rawlings options. Now, our next comparison is going to be the break-in time. So, both of these gloves are take a little while to break in, just because they're nice quality gloves, good quality leather. However, I gotta give it to Rawlings, just because it broke in faster. Now, durability, unfortunately, I can't give you a great, a great idea, just because this Wilson I've had less than a couple months. The Rawlings I've had 
since May. So durability, neither of these have really been put to the test. This Rawlings kind of sits up. So I guess the durability on the Rawlings is good, not great for this heart of the hide. The A2000 I expect to be a little bit better, but can't say that for sure with certainty. And another thing with the durability, this glove hasn't needed to be tightened. Right now I could use it now, but this lace held up very, very well up here. It'll probably be tightened here soon, but uh, over that period of time it hasn't really needed tightening, which is something pretty nice. And the final thing we're going to do is just simply overall leather. So, as I said, the A2000 does have super skin on it, whereas the Heart of the Hide does not. But this A2000, the blonde leather is so, so smooth. The black isn't bad, but I think the A2000's leather is just... I think this has a bit of an edge over the Heart of the Hide. However, I gotta say that that should not take anything away from this Heart of the Hide. It is still a very, very good glove. The leather is so great. I just gotta give this slight edge to A2000. Alright guys, so as you can see, I did pick the A2000 as the winner just because I really, really value the form of the glove and the leather quality on it. I know to a lot of people you may pick Heart of the Hide because of the lace, but to me personally, that's really not quite as important. Anyways guys, that's going to finish up this comparison. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and play ball. This is the Baseball Channel.